thank you for the line. Uh, eight uh, athletes ranked number one. Um, talked about this during the indoor uh, season, just prior to heading to the conference meet. Um, you need momentum on your side, and we certainly have that. Um, have we have the stars, um, but we also need a uh, great supporting cast, and I think we've got that across uh, both programs. Um, if you look at the last couple of uh, competitions, going back to Penn Relays, um, all our event groups had a great meet, um, and certainly this past weekend, Friday night was was an incredible meet, home meet. Um, anyone that knows McBurn knows I'm not a real proponent of getting after it the week before the Big Tens. I'm always scared that you know something is going to happen to our athletes and take them out of the uh, the Big Ten championships. But uh, this past weekend, uh, Friday night at uh, McClyman was just fantastic. Uh, got a great break with the weather. That had certainly something to do with it. Uh, we've been dodging. The weather seems like for three months now, but uh, finally got a great day on Friday night and, and our athletes went off. It was just great to see uh, some new athletes make the bus for championships. And uh, yeah, I think we've got some great momentum going into the meet with uh, those eight athletes that are uh, ranked number one. Certainly gonna need those, uh, need them to uh, you know, do their thing. Um, no doubt they've been competing well all year, and uh, no doubt that they'll uh, they'll score some big points for us. Coach, what was kind of your biggest surprise or takeaway from Friday's meet, besides the weather? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> just a couple of things. Um, got an opportunity to go out to the Trolls facility and just uh, – take that in you know obviously it started earlier in in the day and just to be able to sit there and, and watch our throwers and they just had an incredible meet um chloe Liedemann, uh, again a, another school record i think that's our fourth or fifth this year it seems like every time she gets in the circle she does something uh, spectacular um josie you know continuing her form that uh she showed in uh, out in mount sack out in California a couple of weeks ago when she had that massive throw. Um, but it wasn't, you know, just the superstars. There was a supporting cast out there uh, just just did a fantastic job. Um, that was great to see the team come together and to see the camaraderie and just the – they have a great culture going right now, and, and that, that was great to see. And then you walk over to the Oval and one after the other, so some really great performances, L.O.'s getting back on track after having um, some issues earlier on. Destiny also. Um, great to see Sam Amusen in the, in the 100 meters hit a big one and uh, earn a spot onto the, uh, onto the Big Ten team. Um, Sam has struggled, he had surgery a year ago and uh, stuck with the program and it was great to see him come out and do that. Um, yeah, Jackson Sharp came down to 800 meters and uh, had a good run. Um, big surprise of the, of the evening was uh, Logan Meissner in the, in the steeplechase. So across the board in a lot of events, Hunter Cook in the pole vault, um, you know, we really challenged Hook, uh, Hunter over the last few weeks and left him out of a couple of meets. And, uh, uh, you know, I challenged him and uh, came out and had a, had a really good jump. Um, and he's made a team. So very excited to, to see that. So across the the whole program right now on both genders, I, we've got some great momentum. The introduction talked about eight leaders, but talk about what those other second through eighth places mean when you're going after a Big Ten championship. It means everything. Uh, you don't win it with so, you know, let's say it's four men, four women. That's only 40 points. If, if all those, uh, if those eight kids did their job and won, um, you know, that's a perfect day, and uh, you never get a 100% perfect, right? You've got to certainly ha have some luck, and you make your own luck. We always talk about that, but uh, we're not going to win unless that supporting cast uh, uh, come true for us. And, and I think across the board, certainly in the throws, in uh, both the shot, the hammer, and I guess the, in, in the discus also, because Josie is going to do a double. Um, 
you know, it's big points on the table there. Uh, the throws in the Big Ten is pretty spectacular right now. Um, so to score uh, one through eight is is uh, you got to you got to be on your uh, on your uh, you know have everything going for you, firing on all cylinders. You have a chance to win the Triple Crown after winning cross country last fall, Big Ten indoors. Who are some of the teams that are going to challenge you here outdoors? Uh, Nebraska, uh, on the men's side, Nebraska, Iowa, uh, Indiana are at home. Um, they're going to be really good. Um, it's Coach Helmer's last Big Ten championships. Uh, he's retiring at the end of this year. They're going to be really good. Um, yeah, I, I, I would say favorites. Michigan will be good. Um, but Nebraska, Iowa, uh, Indiana. On the women's side, Michigan are good. Um, Ohio State are real good. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, we're in it three, four, five. That's what we're looking for on the women's side. Be better than a year ago. You have a couple local kids. Can you just talk about what Lawrence Johnson from Wanakee and Josie Schaefer from Baraboo have, have meant to this program and just, you know, the fact that they stayed home as very talented athletes? Well, yeah, certainly Josie, I mean, she's our team leader. Um, you see the energy she brings to the, uh, not just to the throws, but to the rest of the team. You'll always find her uh, out on the oval cheering on the, the rest of the athletes. It's not just, you won't just see her hiding over there in the throws facility. Um, she's just without doubt the team leader. Uh, captain of the team, brings all this energy um, the fact that she's local obviously is great for us. It's great for us in the recruiting circle. Um, and, and the fact that she stayed home and, done, and has been very successful, uh, that's real important for this program. LO's the same. We, we know LO spent some time down in New Mexico and came back to Wisconsin. Um, again, a, a real team leader. Doesn't have that same, um, has a lot of energy when it comes to his events. Um, Josie's out there screaming and shouting, and, uh, but L.O. does it diff in a different way. His silence presence, you know, is, is, is a real leader. Um, he doesn't have to be vocal. Uh, he gives you that look. And he, I'm going to get the job done today. You better also. Um, and I like that. Um, in, in the kids, he's a, he's a leader because of, you know, the, the success he's had. And, and everybody respects that on the team. Talk about Josie. What have you seen from her from a growth standpoint to get to the part, the, the point that she's at now in her career? You know, you have to compete at the national level a few times and get your butt kicked. And you learn and you grow from those experiences. Uh, not all athletes do that um, because when you get onto that national stage, it's, it's a different level, obviously. You look at indoors, top 16 in the nation. You're, you're a world-class athlete. Um, and, and so she's learned and grown from those experiences. And now she's just her confidence level is, is at new highs, and that's great to see. Um, this is her year. This is her final year. We can't get any more eligibility for her. I wish we could. But, um, yeah, I, it's just maturity. It's, uh, you know, putting everything in perspective, and she's learned how to do that someone like her that has the top mark going in, how do you help them deal with, you know, maybe personal pressure that they're putting on themselves, uh, you know, to, to obviously want to excel at the highest level, but, you know, having the top mark and having all eyes on you at the same time? Yeah, one, one of the things we talk about is, you know, not every time you get in a circle and not, not every time you go to the starting line is it, uh, it the biggest thing in the world, right? You've been through this many times. There's many big events still coming up. And put it, just take each throw uh, as it comes, and I'll put your pre the pressure on yourself every single time you win that circle. And I think for an older athlete like Josie or even Elo in the blocks, um, you, you kind of put that into perspective. You know, it only takes to be beaten a couple of times, and you realize, like, hey, they're not that much better than me. Um, you know, I just have to be a little bit better, whether it's Ella on the blocks or Josie in the circle. And the technique is there. Uh, all the reps that they do all year long, uh, it's just putting them together. And But 
you make a mistake, walk out of the circle and, and correct it next time. And, and they've learned how to do that. Last one for you, Coach. Um, you look at some of your distance runners, they've been competing since September. I guess, how do you manage you know, their race schedule and whatnot once, you, you know, once they've been competing for the last eight, nine months? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question, interesting question. Um, you take someone like Bob Lycan or Jackson Sharp, um, they've been here training since July 1st, um, run a whole cross country season indoors, uh, they do their thing, and now it's outdoors. Um, you know, Bob right now is number one time in the, in the conference in the, in the 10K, uh, also in the 5K, in, and, you know, he's run two races. Uh, he did run a leg for us at Penn Relays last, last week, so you have to manage that. And now it's, he's at that stage where you're not looking just for Big Ten titles, you're looking at, um, you know, beyond that um, for his development, for, uh, for his growth. Uh, and I think that's important, so you, we have to consider that. Um, you know, Bob has ambitions to do this uh, after college in the next this season the remainder of this season and as we go through the next two seasons uh, we have to we have to consider that um uh, so uh you know take that take that into consideration and not race them as much uh it, it's real important to do that sometimes you can race but race under distance he's enjoyed that uh, those relay trips that he's had that you know we put a baton in his hand at the nc2a championships indoors he did a fantastic job, um, and that was last minute on the spot, and he did a great job for us last week at, uh, at the Penn Relays. Um, there's a different feel to, obviously, running relays, and I think that helps.